understand the working of comparator let us start with one bit magnitude comparator so a comparator is used to compare two bits that is two numbers each of single bit so it is called as single bit comparator means here a and b i am providing only one bit input and i'll get outputs as greater than equal to and less than it consists of two inputs for allowing two single bit numbers and three outputs to generate less than equal to and greater than so simply comparator will compare inputs and depending upon that it will give outputs called less greater than equal to and less than this is a truth table of one bit magnitude comparator which contains inputs as a not and b not so if two inputs are there there will be four combinations that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 and i'm getting three outputs which is less than equal to and greater than so here that's the reason i'm writing as a not less than b not equal to means a not equal to b not this is a not greater than b not so in order to know the outputs you need to compare the inputs here if you see 0 0 they are equal so put equal to as 1 next 0 and 1 here a is less than b so less than will be 1 remaining other will be zeros next a is 1 b is 0 here a is greater than b so greater than will be 1 next here a is 1 b is 1 which is nothing but equal so here this position is high remaining everything is low so let us do the k map for less than so if you observe only in this portion i am getting answer as 1 rest everything are zeros so that's the reason l is equal to sum of min terms 1 so here inputs are a naught b naught and here min term is 1 so here you put it as 1 remaining everything it will be zeros now do the grouping only single is available so if you write the boolean expression for this you need to check this one 0 followed by 1 so here i am following sop format in sop 0 is called as bar 1 is called as normal means there won't be any complement so here this is nothing but a naught bar dot b naught so that's what we got here l is equal to a naught bar dot b naught similarly let me do the k map for equal to so if you see equal to in two positions it is showing as one that is for 0 0 and for 1 1 so that's the reason here min terms are 0 and 3 so here inputs are again a naught b naught and here in place of 0 and 3 you have to put 1 so here this is 1 this is 1 remaining 2 are zeros so write the equivalent expression for this followed by this one so here this 0 0 is there so which is nothing but a naught bar dot b naught bar and for this it is 1 1 so which is nothing but a naught dot b naught so finally final expression is nothing but summation of both so this can be written as a naught bar dot b naught bar plus a naught dot b naught which can also be called as x and or gate so it is a naught x nor b naught the same thing we got here this can be written as a naught x nor b naught now let us do for greater than so greater than here i am getting one why because a is greater than b so one zero so expression for this would be done by taking min term as 2 so here inputs are nothing but a naught and b naught and here in place of 2 put as 1 remaining it will be zeros so if you write the expression for this it becomes a naught dot b naught bar the same thing we got here for greater than it is a naught dot b naught bar now these are the boolean expressions which you got for the outputs greater than less than and equal to now by using these boolean expressions we have to draw the logic diagram so we got the answer for greater than as a naught dot b naught bar for less than it is a naught bar dot b naught and for equal to it is a naught x naught b naught so here this can be implemented by taking one and gate whereas b should be complemented so here first gate is x1 output is nothing but greater than so input should be a naught b naught bar so a naught is connected to this point so this gate here it will be a naught similarly we need to give b naught bar so here b naught 
after passing through the NOT gate it becomes B NOT bar and this is given as an input. Similarly for less than it is A NOT bar. A NOT bar means for less than it is A NOT bar dot B NOT. So A NOT. So here this is A NOT. After passing through the NOT gate it becomes A NOT bar. Next one will be B NOT. So B NOT this is connected to this point. So it is B NOT. Finally equal to is nothing but A NOT X NOT B NOT. So here A naught is given directly followed by B naught is given directly and output I am getting as equal to. So simply by using these three boolean expressions, I have drawn the logic diagram of it. Now we shall write the Verilog code of this particular one bit comparator in three styles that is gate level modeling, data flow and behavioral. So let us start with gate level modeling first. So it starts with module, module, this is a module name which I am taking, my module name is comparator underscore one bit underscore gate level, module, module name port list, port list is nothing but outputs followed by inputs, so greater than equal to less than inputs are A0 and B0, so that's what I have taken here, greater than equal to less than inputs are A0 and B0, next we have to do port declaration, so outputs are greater than equal to less than inputs are a0 and b0 next we have to give wires so wire is nothing but the wire which is not having any name or else you can call it as a simple line which is not having any name so if you see here this line after passing through the not gate it is not having any name so i'm taking it as wire which is b0 bar similarly here there is a wire called as a0 bar so two wires are there wire a0 bar b0 bar Next, let us go with the gates. So, not N1. So, this is the not gate which is N1. Output of it is A0 bar. Output is A0 bar. Input is A0. So, this input is A0. Next, coming to not gate N2. Not N2. So, not N2. Output is B0 bar. Okay. Input is nothing but B0. So, it is B0. Next, let me do it for AND gate. So and x1 here this x1 x2 x3 n1 and n2 are called as instance name means name given to a particular gate and x1 so x1 output is g which is nothing but greater than and inputs are nothing but a0 b0 bar so here a0 is there this is b0 bar so that's what i've taken here next x nor gate so this is the x nor gate instance name is x2 output is equal to inputs are nothing but a0 and b0 so equal to a0 and b0 similarly and x3 so this is a gate and x3 output is less than inputs are nothing but a0 bar and another input is nothing but this point which is connected to b0 whenever there is a module there should be end module so simply by seeing this particular logic diagram i have written very log code in gate level modeling now let me show you how to write the test bench so module some name and here you have to remember one point inputs are treated as registers so two inputs are there which is a not b not so that the reason i'm writing as registers and output should be treated as wires so three outputs which is greater than equal to and less than so i'm taking it as wires next this is an important step instantiation means you have to call the particular module which you are testing so this is a particular module that I'm testing and this name should match with the source code module name. So these two names should be same. So it should be comparator underscore one bit underscore gate level followed by this style only like greater than equal to less than a naught and b naught. The same thing should be there followed by UUT means some instance name you have to give here. So simply you can copy paste that first line leaving module and you have to give some name called as unit under test next initial begin whenever begin there will be end and i'm taking this dollar monitor statement to print the result in the console window so dollar monitor will continuously monitor the changes in the values of the variables dollar time will print the simulation time and here it is in the form of binary so that's the reason i'm taking as binary for all the inputs followed by outputs and here initially i'm giving a naught value as zero b naught value as zero next always hash 10 means for every 10 nanoseconds of delay a0 is equal to a0 plus 1 means simply it will get incremented by 1 
whereas here always for every 5 nanoseconds of delay b0 is equal to b0 plus 1 whenever there is a module there should be end module so if you want you can write these two lines separately also like you can take a0 as 0 you can take b0 as 1 and another combination would be a0 will be 1 b0 will be 0 or else both a0 and b0 can be 1 1 so instead of writing all this i am writing it by means of an always statement so it is something like this 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 instead of writing all the test vectors initially i am giving first two values that is a0 b0 and rest automatically it will change for every 10 nanoseconds of delay for a for 5 nanoseconds of delay for b so these are called as test vectors which is used for the sake of testing so this is how we write very low code of one bit comparator in gate level modeling in the upcoming videos i will show you how to write the same thing in data flow modeling and behavioral style of modeling